Now looking at a torso model, here we can see in the thorax, the heart and the anterior parts of the lungs have already been removed. So here we can see quite a few structures that we've looked at previously, where we have the superior middle and inferior lobes of the right lung. We have the trachea here with C-shaped cartilages. Then the carina here at the end of the trachea. We have the right primary bronchus and then the left primary bronchus. And then we can see the esophagus running down behind the heart here. So there's the esophagus running through the thorax. It goes through the diaphragm and into the abdominal cavity. But it's obscured here by the liver, which is in the way. But we can see the stomach here already. So if we just remove the liver, here we can see the stomach more clearly. And there's the esophagus just after it's passed through the diaphragm coming into the stomach. So if we just pick that up and have a closer look now, here's the stomach. And we can see that it's, this, uh, it's got a curved shape. And we can see the esophagus coming in here. And we can see that part of the stomach actually sits above where the esophagus comes in. So that part at the top is called the fundus. So if there was a pin right up here at the top, that's the fundus of the stomach. Then the major part of the stomach here is the body. So this is the body right here. And the body has a greater curvature, which is this larger curve, which makes sense. And then a lesser curvature, which is this smaller, more medial curvature here. And then where the esophagus comes into the stomach, there's a small region here right around where the esophagus joins called the cardiac region. So if there was a pin right here next to the esophagus, that would be cardiac region. And then the more inferior part of the stomach here, the smaller part than the body, is called the pyloric region. And the pyloric region at its distal end, where the stomach ends, has a sphincter there, which we can clearly see here called the pyloric sphincter. And you can see here they've tried to indicate that sphincter is usually closed. Only lets a very small amount of food through at a time when it opens. Now the other feature that we can see on this stomach, we can only see internally. And that is the rugae, the ridges or folds that are on the internal surface. And you can see them pretty clearly there. So these ridges and folds, they're the rugae. 